welcome to Coxie's Picks. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and today we're going to be looking at the Annua HC01, the H&R Super Cuff Clone. Um, I love these cuffs, they're a real challenge to get out of. Uh, mainly because you can't shim them because of the ratchet wheel inside it. Um, what I mean by that is normally when shimming, you're putting a piece of metal in and forcing the pull out of the way um, so that this then comes free. But because this is static and doesn't move and the locking uh, the locking pull is underneath, right? so all the moving parts are beneath in the barrel, you can't shim them, which is a real pain. And then you think to yourself, well, okay, we'll attack via the keyway. Well, as you're wearing it, notice what happens when you move the chain. The keyway disappears. So you lose all that access. And then you look inside, that uh, is a beautiful triangle, which means that you can't get a tool to go around it. I have shown a solution in the past where you put a brass tube in and you, you just grip it as tight as you can and then spin. You could possibly do it with a biro. Again, all possible, but again, it would all depend on whether you can get the cuff in the right position whilst wearing it. Because when you're wearing it, naturally it closes up and so you can't see it. So. I have said in the past there is no bypass available for this one. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce there is a bypass for the single lock only. We're going to reach down behind. There's a very, very miniature gap um, just behind the ratchet wheel. So if I can get the camera to focus. All right, we're going to take advantage of that gap. It is around about 0.2 millimeters. It is minuscule. But as they say, 0.2, why not? So we're going to get our tool, which uh, just get it there. It's a very, very thin piece of shim. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to reach down inside the cuff to around about here, and we're going to feel for the spring, and we're going to force it down and out of the way. It's going to feel spongy to the touch. So let's just line this up a little bit better. All right. You're going to go this side, so both side of the bolt. It's a nice indicator for you. All right. You're going to go over the wheel, so there'll be a little bit of navigating once you're getting through that tiny little gap, and then you'll feel some springy action. And then when you get the springy action, that's when you can push down, hold it in place, and then you can remove the bow effortlessly. So put it back in, all locked up. Down we go. And open it up. And we can do exactly the same on the other side. So there we go. Over we go. And out it comes. So is this a theoretical bypass or can you do it whilst wearing it? So I suppose the proof in the pudding is over on the floor. So let's go and find out. Okay, grab the cuffs, grab the shim. I'm going to come in close so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. Right, cuff's going to go on. Over it goes. Nice and snug. Cuff burn on here. Now what you've got to remember is that this is for the single lock, not the double locks. This is a single lock bypass. You're going to get the tool. All right, and hopefully I'll stay in frame for this. I'm going to come over in a weird angle, come down like that, and then it will release. Now I'm going to do some weird flexing with my wrist to try and get the bow off. In the real world, I would suggest you use your teeth to pull on the bow. All right, but we're going to go in. You've got to get over that wheel. If you can't get over that wheel, you can always try the other side. Uh, it's sticking a bit. So try the other side of the bow. Got two chances of the cherry. Oh, it's straight in on that side. So there we go. All right. So now we're going to see me doing weird flexing with my wrist to try and ease it out. There we go. All right. And on this side, I'm going to go in again, just like so. Get ourselves into position. I'm going to push down lightly, and then rock our wrists. If you're struggling, like I said, you would use your teeth. But I'm just going to use my other hand. Just there we go to get it out and that's it that's the single lock bypass so back over to the desk okay you just saw me wearing them and you just saw me shim out, uh, bypass out of them so what i alluded to in the um escape that i did up there is because i had problems each time that you move the teeth in the wheel can bounce either side so it could be flush up against this side and loads of room on this side or it could be rocking because it's just the design tolerances so if you struggle to come in on this side for whatever reason Right, you could always come exactly the same on the other side as long as you can get over that wheel. Once you're over that wheel, the bypass is exactly the same. So you just push down and then you can open the cuff. Okay, so there we are. A new and exciting bypass on the Annua HC01 Super Cuff clone.
Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.